I don't think it's controversial to say that mods kept Skyrim alive for many players for over 10 years. The modders and mod authors have created one of, if not possibly, my favorite online communities and make me feel so warm inside to see the Nexus get updated every single day. Or actually every single hour if you think about it. Basically every hour a new mod appears on the site and there are so many to pick from. So this is where this video is going to help you. Now please keep in mind that I do use the term hidden gem kind of loosely in this video. The reason for that is that I did take a little bit of time to finish the video and a few of the mods have uh, gotten a little bit of spotlight on the Nexus, but not as much as I think that they deserve. So let me present to you some kinda hidden gems that you should check out. Oh and yeah, grab your snacks. You thought I would forget, huh? You thought I would forget? I will never, never forget. Haven't you thought that Skyrim needs some paintings? I bet you can't even remember if there even are paintings in Skyrim, huh? You play Skyrim? Name all paintings. Do it. Do it! Personally, I have no idea if there even are paintings in vanilla, but I can't remember any, so why not add some anyway? Introducing the paintings collection of mods. There are a few mods uh, that add this type of cool, realistic paintings to the Banner Mare, the Winking Skeever, Candleheart Hall, the Bard's College, the Blue Palace, Temple of the Bella, and there are a few others, but I can review them all in the video. I'll just focus on these for now, and I think the paintings are pure quality. They are added really well and add a bunch of colors to each location. Even if I zoom in this much, I don't see any pixels. And look how small, this is one of the small paintings too, it's pretty cool. I think they're really neat, and uh, oop, I, I gotta censor that one. Oh, oop, this one too. This one's probably my favorite, don't tell my mom I installed this mod, uh, I'll be in trouble. But overall, I do think that it's a really great idea to add more details to uh, these places, and it makes shots of Morgana dancing this much more interesting. Look at these flags over here. What do you see? If your answer is little decoration pieces that you put on cupcakes, we kind of have a problem. I mean, imagine real armies using that as uh, tools to plan a war. I mean, it would be probably pretty cheap and kind of smart if you think about it, but it's not, it's not cool. It's not badass. This is XNF Rain's Civil War Map Flag Replacer. There's really not much to say about this other than now it looks like a super epic war table. Get these gold flags out of here, uh, give me the goodies. Honestly though, for a 2011 game the original ones are great. I mean, they're so small that you don't even pay attention to them. But now, this is 2021 baby, give me the good stuff. It's funny to think about having flags as cool in real life though. Was that Alfric? We're planning a war. Little Timmy, bring your old Warhammer set. Yeah, we're gonna need the flags. Now let's make a princess out of Morgana. This is KD Circlets Redone. This mod adds these really cool circlets, diadems, tiaras? I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. But it adds these things and I think they're really cool. I always thought that the vanilla circlets look eh. I mean, they look cool as items, but once you put them on, yeah, yeah, but these ones look more sleek and a lot more high class. They come in a few shapes and sizes, fitting many different types of characters that you want to make. I don't know why, but I did take a lot of shots of Morgana reading while wearing these. I guess that proves it also increases your intellect. I should probably have one of those. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm already very smart. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, now this. Guys, I'm a really big fan of swords, but this is... Oof. Dwethvar is a great sword, in my opinion, that would fit super well with some sort of ancient elven viking knight build or, or something similar. The bright emerald on a hilt gives me really big elven vibes and the runes on the blade scream viking, in my opinion. And the combination, I think, is just... Mwah. But Christian, you're going crazy over the sword. Yes, little Timmy, I like swords. Quite a bit. 
And in my opinion, this mod has not received the recognition it deserves, so I wanted to really feature it here. Next up, again. We don't just have one mod, but a series of pretty cool small mods. There are actually a bunch of cool mods in this series, but I only had to choose a few, uh, a few of my favorites for this, uh, this video, because otherwise it would be really, really long. But here they are. That is, detailed NPCs. Depending on some factors based on the NPCs, they would have more details in the items that they have equipped. Let's take a look, for example, at equipped spell tomes. This is a detail you'll find typically in mages. They will have books stuck to their butts, not because they're a bunch of nerds, but because it looks cool and it's immersive. One thing to note is that these mods are pretty configurable too, so if you don't want all the mages to have the books, you can decide how many you want. Next one would be headbags for NPCs. The first example is of a hunter who would have a leather bag with some hunting tools and supplies in. Then another example would be people who work with lumber, like lumberjacks. They would have an axe attached. And you, you get how it works, you're smart, right? This is probably my favorite out of the series, mostly because of the variety. Some of them make more sense than others though, I don't really understand why meadery employees would need to have mead stuck to their butts at all time, but I guess it's immersive. There is also one that adds bandages to injured NPCs. Simple, but I think it's a great mod. Now these people won't act hurt, but also look it. If it wasn't clear. <laughs> There's also this really cool one about face masks. Now this is immersion. This makes me really feel like at home. I want out. <laughs> I really wish I had this mod a year ago when I made that pandemic video. It makes sense for bandits to wear these, I mean, they're the most prone to disease. And also, probably, they, they probably have it to hide their identities, but that's probably why they wear it, but... Man, this pandemic broke me. It's not fun. I miss 2019. There's also this cool one that adds steam to dwarven automatons. Anyway, you get the gist of it. And I encourage you to check out more of these mods on your own, because there are a few ones that I missed and uh, it would be a shame if you don't have the chance to check them out. For all these mods, the respective links are in the description down below. I think each one of them is another addition that would make Skyrim this much more epic, and with every video we keep adding to that. Now, what is next, Christian? You might be asking yourself. Well, last video I started doing some more cinematic videos. Well, I thought maybe it would be the time to see more of Morgana. And we'll talk more after this sequence. Yeah, I'm a pretty good fighter myself. I've been thinking about joining the companions too. One time, I even made a guy shit himself. Yeah, it was that one time I left in the mirror. Wait, could that be who I think it is? I saw you from across the room. I know exactly who you are. You were set to be the mercenary taking on bounties all over the province. I heard you even killed Daedrus. Ah. Fine, bloody team. Then again, <laughs> I still don't believe the rumors. I mean, how can a tiny woman be able to take on so many foes? I tell you what, darling. You stop lying to us and get back to the kitchen where you belong. Not bad. <laughs> Morgana. I know that face. Don't let any pricks tell you what you can and cannot do. Remember when we met? I got my horse kicked that day. Don't laugh at me. You know that elf was strong.
okay. Maybe not as strong as I remember. It is thanks to you that I can still serve today. And got a pretty cool sword as a souvenir. Anyway, do you want justice? And that would be it for the video and I really hope you guys had a great time. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and also subscribe if you're new. Welcome. I would really like to get your input on these sequences that I have with Morgana's story. I personally think they're really really cool but ultimately I make these videos for you guys to watch so if you enjoy them I'll make more but if you think they're just like eh I'll still make more but not as often. <laughs> It does make the video releases a bit slower because it does take a bunch of time and effort to make them. Um, but I, I personally think it's worth it. We'll see how this goes. I want to give some personal thank yous to the people my elbow fell from. The I want to give some personal thank yous uh, to everyone that helped me install Nemesis and get Sky SA and more, more of these mods. Um, following my last video uh, that was really really helpful to see and what's funny actually is that the first person that reached out to me that was the successful one so it didn't really take much time uh, so that would be Korodik on reddit thank you one thing that kind of annoys me is that I made that huge 20 plus minute video on the combat mods and then I kept adding more stuff after off camera so that's kind of like it feels like the video was incomplete in a way I did put in the comments the mods that I added after that Hopefully that kind of like compensates What do you guys think? I don't know. Should I make like a follow-up video like a part two of what I installed afterwards? Also big thank you to Mern uh, who helped me uh, Taught me how to use uh, to make uh, machinima style videos with Skyrim. It's really helpful and without him uh, This video would probably not be possible at least not the Morgana story part and that's it No comment shout out this video because I already had two shout outs that's it. Also, one thing I noticed right before I- Let me take this off. Sorry about that. My, my bamboo started getting a little yellow lately, and I don't know why. Um, I, he was um, next to the window for a bit. Um, then he started getting a bit yellow because I thought maybe the window's too cold because I live in Canada, so it's so freaking cold outside. So I'm like, mm, maybe the cold is uh, the problem. Then I took him away. Put him next to my bed. It, the bed is still not very far from the window. I live in a studio, so how far can it get? Um, he started getting even more yellow. So is it the sunlight? Is it the cold? Is there anything I can do for him to... Oh, that's not good. Is there anything I need to do for him to not get yellow? Does anyone know? Because I'm really scared. Anyway, go watch something else. So I loaded up this older game called Skyrim. I started making videos people be admiring. Well, on one hand, it gets pretty tough. I can't help to admit that it's some really cool stuff. I get back in the game after I've played so many times. I thought it would get boring after committing so many crimes. Did you know the regular chicken is considered a person? Now that's a dumb feature that ruins my immersion.